right now, these two storms are interacting to create a kind of odd situation for the eastern coast. Right now, Hurricane Humberto has 138 mile per hour winds. It is a category four and has a central pressure of 942 millibars. Now, as you can see on the satellite loop, it's kind of weakening and it looks like a blob of convection. If you saw the satellite loops yesterday, they were a lot better in terms of the strength. Now, it was a Category 5 yesterday, and overnight and into this morning, the storm has weakened a lot, and it's continuing to weaken, and it is expected to. So, I mean, tomorrow we're supposed to see a Hurricane 3 or a Category 3, and even farther we're supposed to see it to be a Category 2, Category 1, and just move out to sea. Now, as for Amelda, this storm right here, it is um, weakening as well, kind of, but Right now, Humberto is kind of magnetizing it and moving it off. So this has become a kind of odd situation as we thought it was going to hit the Carolinas, but it looks like it's going to get flung out to sea by Humberto. Right now on the models, this storm seems to just be throwing some rain at the eastern coast of Florida. So anyone worried about flooding in Florida, it looks like the most amount of rain is just going to fall in Florida on the eastern coast. And it just looks like this storm is going to just fly off to see because Humberto is going to really just magnetize it really. It's just going to fly off to sea and bring Amelda with it. Humberto, you can see Humberto there in um, the Amelda right here. And also you can see some rain falling near Wilmington, this area, some storms today. That's another area where we've already seen flooding and where it could start flooding again. So really these areas are going to be the only areas we're going to see a lot of flooding in. But these storms look like they're just going to fly off to sea in no real impacts. Remember the other day we were just seeing that this storm could impact the coast and it looked like it would stall out right here. And we need to keep watching this, everyone on the East Coast. But this really looks like a best case scenario right now. And the other model looks like they're just going to continue to see the same thing. It was on the HRRR model. They're just going to fly out to sea and bring each other with it. Obviously, some rainfall in North Carolina and Florida, but nothing as bad as we've seen ever, and you guys should be fine. No impacts, just some maybe some gusty winds and high surf and some bad rip currents everywhere um, in New York, in um, Wilmington, Jacksonville, Miami, all those areas could see some bad rip currents. And these storms just really look like they're just going to fly off, not really impact anybody. So this looks like a best case scenario. For rain to come, we're really not looking at much. The Florida area could see maybe an inch or two, especially on the eastern side. Like right here in this circle, you could see maybe an inch or two. Half an inch really looking at the Miami area, half an inch. Palm Bay could see an inch or two. And Daytona Beach could see half an inch. But we're really looking at not a lot of rain, especially now because the old models have already seen like three inches, four inches. But now these are already like decreasing down. And plus some has already fell. So flooding is really not going to be a big factor. Maybe some near Miami and Palm Bay, but that's really not going to be a lot. Near Wilmington, some has already fell. Maybe an inch or two has already fell. But y'all's expected rain is maybe up to half an inch. So look at Gainesville. These are over the next three days. So really the storm is just moving off and it's not going to be a very big problem to anyone. For rip currents, areas in the red are in a high risk right now. For rip currents, this is a pretty bad situation. So I would advise to be very cautious outside when swimming or even avoid swimming at all costs. North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, and Florida, most of your beaches are in this high risk. And I would just be cautious about this and know what's out there for swimming. And areas in the yellow up there by New Jersey, Delaware, even New York City and areas over here in the Florida panhandle should be aware of the situation. And this has a less, less of a chance of getting rip currents than the other places in the red. But you guys should still be cautious about this rip current threat and know that there are rip currents out there. And that's probably going to conclude the video. Thank you guys for 100 subscribers. I'm really happy that you guys got me to this milestone. And I'm excited that my next video might be coming out next week into this, like this weekend into next week. I think we'll get it done by this weekend if I really grind this out. But thank you guys for watching. That'll be it for today.